Pivot to Chair, a podcast from the Fanbyte Podcast Network. I am your host, Nicholas Grayson, and we're here to talk about the thing that we all use, the thing we all sit in, chairs. I'm being told I'm very quiet. Is this better? Is this better? We'll just take it from the top again. That is better. I'm being told that's better. We're gonna we're gonna refresh, and I'm gonna cut this part out of the. Oh, I know why I'm so quiet. I got it. Hey, what's up? Okay, listen. No one heard that part. Taking it from the top. Hello, and welcome to Pivot to Chair, a podcast from the Fanbyte Podcast Network. I am your host, Nicholas Grayson, and we are here, as always, to talk about chairs, the things that we sit in, the things that we love in, the things that we live in. Chair. Um, as always, as you, as you know, as I know, um, Pivot to Chair is a, is a show about us and our friends and the chairs that we all sit in. So this week, uh, I've brought a couple of good friends. We've got me. I'm here. We've got uh, Renata. Renata. We've got uh, the editorial intern for Fanbyte.com. We've got Stephen Strom, uh, managing editor for Fanbyte.com. Uh, we've got Jordan Mallory, podcast producer. We've got Andrew Whitmore, whose title I don't actually know, but he's here. Um, And we also have a very special guest, Eric Pope, Senior Community Developer, I think is his title, on Hyperscape, the new Ubisoft Battle Royale game. And I'm going to now unmute every single person in the call, and we're going to hear their voices in just a few seconds. Unmute. 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 And now I'm going to have to click one more thing in OBS... And now everyone can hear you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Wow. What a what a beautiful sound. Seven people talking. What a time to be alive. Simultaneously. <laughs> what a time to be. Kind of just over each other. Yeah, kind of at the same time. I don't know what you're talking about. We're not talking over each other whatsoever. You guys can keep on uh, doing whatever you need. No, there you can't just say cuncus like that. Well, everyone, <laughs> welcome to Pivot to Chair. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. I'm tweeting. Oh, <laughs> cool. Same. About chairs though, I'm sure. Um, that's good. It's um it's a it's a Wednesday here. At least in my neck of the woods it's Wednesday. I don't know about for the rest of you. Um, but it's a Wednesday here for me and if you're watching this stream for the folks at home and if you are listening to this podcast, which is fine, um, the, you just know that this is a live recorded show that airs uh, on some Wednesdays um, <laughs> uh, on twitch.tv slash fanbyte. Um, you can see that my office, the room that I do the most sitting in, is currently under a uh, under construction. And I've got just kind of a tremendous amount of stuff kind of just around the room. Oh, um, your, your apartment's under construction? Yeah, well, okay. So we'll, get, <laughs> we'll listen, Andrew. We'll get there, huh? But um, I've got stuff scattered around. We've just got a bunch of plants. Um, I've got a new chair that I'll talk about a little bit later, but let's welcome the biggest guest we've ever had on the show. Eric Pope, what's up? I have gained some weight in No, quarantine. no, listen, Eric, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I didn't know we are going to start so heavy, but we can do it. We can do that. <laughs> Eric, how are you? Why are you, you? Boil, why do you boil? Bully is what I meant to say. <laughs> Fucked up. Fucked up. I, I bully because it works. Um, Eric, how are you? How, how are things now that you, your video game is out? Things are really good. Yeah, uh, we just uh, lo- uh, announced and kind of soft launched the game I'm working on last week, uh, and it's been great, great to finally be able to talk about a thing that you're working on and not yeah. have to be like coy and yeah. I remember, I remember when you were like, "I'm leaving For Honor," and I was like, "Well, <laughs> I'm never gonna see Eric Pope again." <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's going into the Ubisoft mines, and you were finally allowed to come out. 
<laughs> they let me out once a year. Yeah. Finally. You're like Todd Howard. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. I would like some of that Howard money. Yeah, some of that some of that sweet Howard money. Eric, <laughs> I invited you on the show 74 years ago to talk about <laughs> a chair that I saw you tweet about that I'm going to pull up for the audience here at home so they can see it. But do you want to kind of just quickly talk about your your most recent chair acquisition? Look, I want to make sure you're you're using the real proper chair and putting the link in our chat. Oh yes, please. Thank you. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Okay, so quick quick stats. Uh, I'm an American, but I moved to Canada to work at Ubisoft. Congrats on uh, getting out. Uh, yeah, it's been very good. Uh, apparently, up here they are hugely into these Adirondack chairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I, I guess people are familiar with. I wasn't super familiar with it. It's kind of like you go to a lake house and there's a Adirondack chair or five that you can sit in. <laughs> I decided we wanted one for my family. Uh, oh, these? And, uh, yes. Went to Costco, as I do at least once every couple weeks. Uh, I could do a whole podcast about Costco if you're looking to do spinoffs. By okay, the way. okay. <laughs> Let me just quickly take some notes. Please. Please. Um, now, is, now, is Canadian Costco different from American Costco? Yeah, that was going to be one of my slightly, early questions. Slightly. They have slightly, some of the different, some of the products are different. Like, they don't have the same selection that you might get in the States, but at the same time, you get stuff here that you probably can't get there. Okay. Yeah. A lot of, because I'm in, I'm in Montreal, so there's a lot of, like, local Quebecois fromage Okay. Now that's uh-huh. good. That's valuable. Yeah, yeah. It's de- definitely better than your usual like cheddar. Yeah. Now this chair says it's a hundred percent Canadian, which i I'm sure is valuable to the folks up in Canada. Did you have to put this chair together? Yeah. So that's the thing. So at Costco, they have the chairs all kind of lined out, and uh, they had one that was like painted red and finished, and then they had kind of a just a plain wood one. I was like, oh, I just want the wood. Uh, and that turned out to be a kit rather than a, an, ah, assembled chair. an assembled chair. I see. Yeah. Um, and maybe similar to me, I don't know your experience, but my only experience building furniture was like Ikea. Mm-hmm. And this was not an Ikea experience. Yeah. Um, it looks like a lot Ikea of um... experience. Nope. Sorry. That was nothing. No, don't that worry. was something, Stephen. Let's just kind of let's, no, let's go again. down. No, no, no. no, no, no. Can we yeah. try it again? Take that yeah, one, one more Steven, time. Yeah, so you this wasn't really uh, your Ikea experience. There yeah. it is. <laughs> Steven? Ikea experience? There it is. That's the one. All right. That's the hit. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking here at the um at the features of the chair, which is very a very loose kind of <laughs> <laughs> a very loose kind of descriptor here. And one of the features says that gluing all joints during assembly is recommended. Yep. So that was a thing I was not prepared for. Mm. Um the uh so, so the they have the shapes cut for you, and okay. some of the parts are pre-drilled. That's as far as they go for kind of some. setting you up for success. Yeah, not all, some. <laughs> so it it was for for a person like me who is not at all like I, I I don't do well with handiwork. I don't do well with woodworking. Just the idea that I like nothing is spaced evenly. And as you can tell by looking at the chair, it's all about slats of wood. So they're all spaced differently yeah. because it's not pre-cut. And it's just like, it was a stressful as hell exercise to put it together. And then you're not done because then you have to sand it. Mm. Had I never dealt with sanding, sanding a furniture. Then you got to stain it and you got to do multiple coats of stain and multiple coats of polyurethane it was a project that is incredible what uh what color did you stain it or did you leave it natural uh, a dark, dark cherry wood Ooh, pretty yeah it looks i i probably should have prepared better and given you a picture no of the it's final fine product. listen just send it to me send it on over afterwards and i'll um i'll make it the Great. album art for this episode. I'll edit and post. Yeah. When when yeah. I get a dark cherry stain, it's usually because I did spill my cherry coke zero right. on my nice white shirt. Oh, that's so fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's really impressive to me that you were able to kind of like get that as an all over look. Right. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You, you can stain wood with cola. That does work. Oh. oh. Tr- wait, oh. wait. Is that I re- really? 
Yeah, it takes longer because it doesn't penetrate as deeply as like an oil-based stain would, but you can, wow. do it. You can totally do it. You can also use coffee that's, grounds. Look at Jordan mm -hmm. knowing really stuff. Really interesting. Oh, wow. That would have been so much better because the oil stuff is such a pain in the ass to work with because it gets everywhere and you have to use uh, mineral spirits to get it off your hands. Wow. The worst. When so I, in the end, yeah, just rather than just buying the... bottles of Diet Coke. <laughs> Uh, so in the end, I, I definitely recommend just buy the pre-assembled one. It's like a hundred dollars more, but I would say it's worth it. That's good. also it's a hundred Canadian dollars more, which is oh mm, wow. Ten, well, I mean, so the, like the labor is worth <laughs> <laughs> the labor is either kind of worth more chair, or though. less. It's unclear. <laughs> um, wow, this is incredible. They it, the chair is made by the Bear Chair Company. Which is a good name for a company. Also, I'm, I've, now, I've started to dig into the reviews here, and this you... person says that they've purchased five of these chairs. Oh, oh I can't imagine okay. doing this five times. Yeah, so they've gone through this it process sold out. five times. It's fi it's sold out. Hi, hello. May I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, what's mm. up? This is John Warren, a vacationing head of media, John Warren. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, caller. I I have a quick question, and I will take my answer off the air because I only have a moment. I'm in Fayetteville, Arkansas, where it's currently 95 Yay. degrees with 100% humidity. Um, <laughs> is there a chair for me that can wick sweat away from my ass mm. and <laughs> balls? Is there like a, a chair kind of like a funnel can... situation is what you're yeah, looking for. Like, yeah. yeah, like, like, a, like, like, a, a, like an is absorbent there, chair? Is there a chair made out of the me undies material? <laughs> like <laughs> a chair that doesn't just breathe. A chair that actively, like... A, yeah. okay, a that chair that breathes, but yeah. not... Yeah, a chair that yeah, respirates, respirates, but not yes, that breathes. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll watch the VOD later for the answer. Thank Bye -bye. you for calling. Mm. Love you, John. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh Eric, I have some I have some questions about this chair. Please. Uh, I have a question about this. I'm so I'm I'm a bit of a slat head. I, I'm always talking about how much I love slats of wood. Okay. Uh, are, are those like <laughs> <laughs> we get through the bed? Are, those, are those comfortable for the body? Like to put on directly on wood? I feel like like I've sat on like wooden stuff before, but I've never like ooh, love that this is uncushioned just slat. <laughs> I mean, all, all the slat heads out there can, can empathize with your question. Uh, it is very surprisingly comfortable because the way that the shape is, you're basically, it's like a semi-reclined state. Yeah, it lo it so does look like there's oh, two okay. bespoke curves in the base oh, of the yes. right. chair here, which seems like which it does again, a lot was... for your spine. Which was stressful putting it together because I had the same exact concerns, especially on the part that curves, because that's where your legs are going to go. You don't right. want it jamming up into your skin. Yeah. But in the end, it wasn't. It wasn't actually a problem. Does the chair fold, mm -hmm. Eric? Oh no, no, it is a big solid okay. thing that is never I'm going to. Come solid apart. construction. Okay. Yeah, I had to glue, like you said in the instructions, I had to glue every part that I screwed right. in. Right. Okay. If, Got it. If this chair were to be used in some kind of, uh, some kind of. Um, sports entertainment match uh are, are we looking at are we looking at a pretty grim result of that would you say oh God. that's a great question i would love to see it i think i think i could see undertaker tossing this on someone <laughs> yeah. and just shattering it could yeah, shatter made, pretty well if you made it out of balsa it would probably <laughs> put yes. on like a pretty awesome spectacle right as is you would kill yeah, them as is so if, yeah, so if you hit advantage. someone with let's see there's a weight here somewhere uh 26 pounds of sh of pure pine i think that would kill a man <laughs> Ooh, yeah that's uh, 26 pounds of pure pine is definitely the name of my new porn parody <laughs> uh <laughs> wait parody of what home improvement home improvement <laughs> obviously <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Um, I don't wow. think so, Tim. That's incredible. <laughs> now we do we do need to kind of answer Andrew and Jordan. We do need to answer our caller's question. Um, now I I think that John should just invest in a pool, and then he can sit kind of in any any configuration mm. he oh, would like in okay. the water, and then the the water would wick away the sweat. Is water just a very malleable big chair? chair? Yeah, yeah. yeah Stephen chair. presents a really, really challenging question. I think yeah. that's what we have to ask. The problem is humidity, and being in water is a hundred percent humidity. Right, but what if the water is if the cooler or, or sorry, 
if the pool temperature is cooler than the latent humidity, then it's more comfortable. Yes. I would rather be in a pool than in my apartment right now. <laughs> but I thought the problem was the moisture. Right, but if your whole body but is moist, wet. But yeah, the moisture. It's it's. John said wick the sweat. He didn't mm. say to remove them. He doesn't want a dehumidifier. He wants to no, not yeah. be wet. John doesn't want to be bleached not bones. A lot of sweat. Let me toss this out there. Why not a toilet? Okay. 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 All right. There's All a right. amount of breathability there's in a, the toilet. Yeah, there's a lot of airflow kind of underneath. Then there's the, okay, Eric, no, this is good, because there's the water mm -hmm. aspect that you yeah. get from the underneath. If you just keep flushing mm -hmm. it, some of it will mm -hmm. naturally mm -hmm. kind of wick some of the moisture away. How about right. this? How this about a bidet attachment? I was okay. going to ask. This is a question that maybe p real people who know things know, but do they make bidets built into toilets or are those always yeah, like yes. church and state okay yeah so, good good great church and state. Church and state. <laughs> i'm always saying this about bidets and toilets they're like the u.s constitution right exactly um i'm always amendable. saying this about both the constitution and toilets at the same time a large component of the creation of this show is to get companies to send us things um <laughs> and uh they we, love it when you say that on yeah, the program <laughs> and we've got um in a couple of weeks we've got a something i'm unbelievably excited about uh so stay tuned for uh july 22nd's episode of pivot to chair but tushy is a proprietor of bidets oh. um that i know about from instagram.com can um, i share my tushy code on stream oh yeah, yeah yeah hit us with your tushy code I have two. I have two tushies. Uh, for okay. My two okay. Bathrooms. Well, that's a problem. That's a lot of tushies. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> uh, it's great. It is. I mean, that again. That could be another spin-off yeah. podcast. But mm. the bidet life is a complete change uh, for how <laughs> I operate. That's incredible. Um, no, yeah. Hit us with your tushy code. All right. Well. I thought it was going to be easier to find. No, it's actually. okay. Keep going. No, keep going. I'm now kind okay. of looking at a travel bidet, and now I kind of want to leave the website. What the okay, fuck? That's a travel bidet. Did you Is just, that a, just a tabo? travel bidet? You is that fucking just a tabo? pervert? No, yeah, this this is a travel bidet. And now it, it looks like a pop-up water bottle. I hate that it moves. Oh. It sucks oh, that it no. moves. Sorry. It, 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 is a, it looks like a pop-up water bottle <laughs> oh my god i hate okay, that it. oh you so know no. you know someone was like had this idea because they were on a very long car ride they were going from you know san francisco to la one year for e3 clearly right. and they had to pee into a water bottle and they were like how do i take this a step further <laughs> how do i reuse this <laughs> yeah <laughs> and in the like opposite in direction how Fucking okay, dare well, you suggest firing urine directly <laughs> into that area? I've never been angrier. They've done gentrified an enema, basically. With yeah. This. Wow. The so days cost way less than I thought they did. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a, it's it's cheap and it's super. It's much easier to to put together than the fucking Adirondack <laughs> chair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Eric, I, I also too recently installed a bidet attachment to my toilet. It's not that's the it's, best. It's not a tushy, so it doesn't have as many features as this, and it was also significantly cheaper. Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna say something that would have sounded very mean, but I'm gonna preface it by saying that it would have sounded mean, so it doesn't. Okay. And I was, <laughs> Jordan, oh, I was gonna say you seem like someone who would have bought a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not. You are not incorrect. I mean, really, uh, what you're saying to Jordo is, Jordo, you seem like someone who like who values hygiene. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, thank you. That's it. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I agree. It's completely life changing. Okay. That, um, the, the the images at the bottom of this thing where there's like what looks like wow. shit shards. Anatomy. On anatomy. everybody. I'm really interested in an anatomy. No, what's it up? Looks it's like just the anatomy of sprayed with the... shit. I just dropped my re my tushy referral, oh, your tushy into referral the chat. Code? Oh, thanks. Like into yeah, the Twitch chat. Oh, into the Twitch is, chat. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, it got, it got, oh, it got, got uh, eaten by got our gotten... by our mod bot. Oh, um, oh no. Here, put it in the Beautiful. Discord, and I'll put it. I'll put it in. Yeah, here. I'll send it. I'll send it in. Can we say it out loud, or is that against the rule? No, no, we can well, say it out loud. 
Oh, I yeah, I'll read every letter and number. They just do a weird thing with their referral code. Like, it's this whole... It's a string it, of letters it, and numbers and not whole, like... Yeah. It's not like Eric648. It's not right? it's not hellotushy.com slash Eric. It's a it's a it's a mess. It's like multiple lines long. I got, oh, this. I got this. Don't worry, I got this. See? Oh, that. oh, oh my Lord. god, that's awful. Oh, that's hell. Colon slash slash I dot R E S D. No, 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 no. This is hell. I thought this was gonna be like a my brother, my brother and me situation, and it'd be like, ah, go to tushy.com and enter my butthole, and you will have the code, you know, because it's custom. But yeah, no, it's not. three of us did this. It's not four. <laughs> four of us. Yeah, everyone. So there's Eric's code. Steven, you wanna hop on that train? Uh, where am I going? I'm not actually on the Twitch. <laughs> oh, then don't worry about wow. it. It's just that uh, Nikki, Andrew, uh, Jordo, and I all posted this link. That's very good. If you use that code, you get five dollars off your purchase. That's huge. Oh I, I, I get a thing called butt run. bucks. But Wait, is that really what it's sorry, called? Sorry, no. you get a, you get now, what, what you, now what can you, you redeem what, your butt friendo? bucks for? I get two hundred butt bucks per referral. I currently have seven hundred butt bucks. I have referred a lot of You've people. You've referred many people, but what do you redeem the butt yeah, bucks for? Yeah, what do you for? do with them, Let's my guy, my my fucking pal? So I have one reward available right now. It's a peach pin. So it's like a like oh, a like the peach die amount. cut oh. pin. Yes, because it's like a butt. Why did they sell oh, an ottoman? Like Why did they sell an ottoman? Well, the ottoman helps you move your colon in a way that facilitates the poop leaving your body better. <laughs> Technically speaking, humans aren't supposed to sit on toilets. Yeah. Toilets are actually the yeah. forbidden chair. You're supposed yeah. to squat. You're supposed but to squat. Yeah. We're too lazy oh, to oh, change that. Excuse part. me. Excuse me. I have IBS type C. You do not need to tell me this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, an ottoman, I, I guess, would probably give you some of the same like sort of like butt to ankle levelness that you would that want you out of that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. And now like, this toilet that I'm kind of showing on stream now that Andrew sent me a little bit earlier How is kind of is peak. Why is this Ottoman $69? Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you know why. You know, you know why. <laughs> it's because it's the fun number. Um, Now, Andrew, do you mind sending me a picture of your bathroom so we can kind of talk about <laughs> your sure, home? Um, Andrew is in the process of moving or was in the yeah, process Andrew. of moving. Um, and, uh, <laughs> uh yeah. his apartment got murdered. Yeah. You're, you're I've never times. seen a house get killed, but, um, I've oh, now seen a game house anatomy. get killed. I don't know. My files are too powerful. Oh, you got too big of files. Your JPEG is too big. Too big. If you use the Discord app, it'll compress them for you. I'm just gonna screenshot. Yeah, just screenshot. screenshot it. Yeah. Now, Eric, uh, I don't no. know. This may be a consequence of having purchased a a, a cheaper tushy knockoff instead of mm -hmm. the the legitimate tushy. Is the water pressure on yours almost unbearably strong? Yeah, almost okay, unbearable. Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. It hurts a little oh, bit. Yeah, okay, it hurts great. a little bit. Bear? Sorry, Eric. Eric, Eric, it hurts Eric, a little Eric. bit. It, I mean, it yeah, hurts a little bit. You get used to it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I will I I can confirm that my you, I can confirm <laughs> that you do indeed get used to it. I, have, I will say though, I've only used mine on the lowest setting. I think yes. that like once I graduate to the highest setting, I'll be able to fight crime. <laughs> Sorry, this is you're this supposed is to graduate. Troubling in yeah, some you, information. If you want to go back to the website, just to sh like the 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 little attachment, it has a dial, and I've never gone past a single mm -hmm. like millimeter. <laughs> you go past that, and it's like, and we did it once when we first got it, just to see what would happen, and it shot all the way into the next room to the ceiling of the next room. That's incredible. That would kill it's a so person. strong. Yeah. See. see uh Oh God! I cannot. I cannot have a conversation about this. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna hit I want to see. Go back to the homepage for the the tushy for the tushy. Site. Yeah. What's up? Uh, why are what the fuck? Well, they're is they're this? riding the water from the tushy. <laughs> why is that? Tushy is doing really good like, at what uh, you do. Uh, uh, doing yoga. Colonoscopy check. Well, listen. You. I mean, you gotta check. Yeah, I can't get. I can't get over the the toilet paper now. Okay, wait. 
I didn't it's see bamboo. how I didn't see how much it costs. How much do we think the toilet paper costs? Ooh, is good it question. Thirty dollars a roll. Why do they have toilet paper? The okay, bigger yeah. the roll, the cleaner the hole. That Damn. sucks. That's terrible. <laughs> you, you still want to use toilet paper to like Did wipe you the just water, right? To dry, to me? yeah, yes. to dry the it. Bigger the roll, the, the cleaner the hole. Yeah, that's what hey, the that's what the copy that's what the website said, said to you. That's what the, the website, website said. said. Oh, it also does say introducing. Yeah, <laughs> they wanted thirty American dollars for eight rolls of toilet paper. Ah, <laughs> what? And it's sold out too. And it's it is sold out. Well, they probably started selling it when there was a shortage. No, well, that's really so... weird. In Canada, it only comes in thirty six packs. <laughs> And how much is it? Oh, those? Sixty Canadian dollars. Oh, they have okay. a subscription service. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 36? you know what? Hey, you know 36 what? Six for six. Wait, toilet no, paper a on deal. a subscription. Toilet yeah. probably a bad deal in this case, but subscription toilet paper it's a thing everybody needs to constantly get more of right? you always feel embarrassed no. when you have to pick up like here's my 48 pack ma'am please ring folks, me up folks here's the here's an issue that i've again i can't stress this enough the only people i know who have problems pooping are white people in the games industry and <laughs> and the Dare thing, you the, thing like the thing that i have to say is that it is so easy to just go to costco and buy a 72 pack of toilet paper and then literally never have to worry about it again katie and i bought toilet paper last in september of 2019 that's incredible wait how much did you buy we bought the biggest one Costco had, which is just the normal one Costco has. Yeah, because it's Costco. Because it's Costco. Yeah. Uh, I don't view myself as somebody who has trouble pooping, but that seems like a <laughs> impo- like a magical amount of time to go without having to buy more toilet paper. What? We're very. I don't know what to tell you. I think I have to buy toilet paper every like three months. Something like yeah, that. that sounds about right. But like yeah. September was nine months was ago. Nine months ago. That's almost a oh year. Oh my god! I feel like 2020 is like a week long. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. Yeah. Was the time Jesus. compression of 2020 localized entirely in your yeah, bathroom? Yeah, in my bathroom. Yeah. Now, Andrew, you've moved into a new place. Yes. And um, folks uh, in the in the Discord, you should be able to see this JPEG, and on stream, you should be able to see the JPEG as well. Um, we've got your chair, your throne, as as you do. But uh, the first time I looked at the JPEG, I kind of looked at it and was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, this is fucked." And then the second time I looked at the JPEG, I was like, "Oh, that's your bathtub." Yep, leaning against the far wall in your bathroom. So, kind of what so- what's happening here? I mean, the only thing really missing is a tushy bidet. Right, <laughs> that's the only thing that we're missing. And here. some bamboo well, toilet paper. It is closed. Wings. The toilet is closed. We don't know if there's not a bidet in there. I can confirm there's no bidet. <laughs> 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 Have you really gotten in there and just looked? Uh, well, the, the worst part of all of it is the bugs. Yeah, so uh-huh. your, your house is just kind of riddled with cockroaches. Yes, multiple. and then you I had to that. move out, correct? Yeah, across the street. Yes. Okay. So, uh, but it's still it's being worked on currently. That's like in a house across the street. Hello, or... am I back? Literally, yeah, you are back. Yeah. Yes, you're back. Am I back from fucking hell? Yes. <laughs> um, cool. No, I know you've returned to a different you, circle. yeah different circle. Yeah. They, are we done talking circle. about? Are we done talking about? fucking white people not being able to share yeah we're talking <laughs> now we're talking about andrew's bad are we talking home. about andrew specifically not being able to shit because his home <laughs> isn't together yeah we've got it, it. We're, we uh, we've improved our situation we zoomed in on a single so. white person who can't shit <laughs> mm, love that movie narrow <laughs> casting <laughs> so andrew is the plan uh, still andrew. to I eventually move into this apartment no okay, okay. thank god oh good uh stuff tbd uh getting Pend- yeah back, pending hopefully. legal movement i'm <laughs> yeah. sure yeah uh, um, you've got uh you've got this great guy this great contractor that you've hired named grover who's gonna set you up with like, just a way better <laughs> thing it's gonna be a deal um andrew but, you also yeah, no, sent me uh, 
Oh, go I ahead. Sent a lot of cursed images. Yeah, you did send a lot. You sent me this chair. Now, is this a chair? This is the this is the chair that uh, is the icon, I think, of this entire show. Of the program, yeah. <laughs> of the program in general. He's so sad. It's on brand. He's just very sad, kind of abandoned and on the street. Now, was he like this before he was abandoned on the street or after? Great question. I don't think limbs are kind of all around him. Well, okay. Well, are they, though? Because this is a different chair, and Maybe this is a different the chair. other chairs. So what we're this looking at, for the, yeah, for the audio listener, we're looking at a <laughs> chair that looks like a gingerbread man. Um, with That's no clown, legs. Girl. With no, but it also looks like a gingerbread man. Um with no legs ne- near the corpses of a couple of other chairs. Well, so it's like the elephant graveyard in Lion King. For yeah, chairs. but for chairs. Um, and uh, the chair is hyenas. crying and is very sad. I like whoever asked if the chair was like this beforehand, because that does imply a world where this had a big smiling face on it, and then people woke up the next day, <laughs> and it was sm- it was sad, and it was okay. like, oh no. This is the most cursed chair I've ever found in my now, entire Now, this life. chair has toes and I hate it, I hate it. And, oh it, and it has fingies yeah oh, and a belly button these, uh, we're looking at this fucking nightmare factory yeah yeah, yeah. now this, this is has hair too. Too. it does have hair i've just noticed huh and boobies yeah this Ugh. sucks we're not <laughs> gonna look at this one anymore this that chair, one's bad this chair looks like hot dog and i don't like what it what does the sign say on what is the what does this like a say? historical thing or something. oh it's, oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a oh, chairman now oh chairman now i get oh, it Jesus oh is this a racist oh chair oh my god i didn't even realize that please good catch eric god we're not going to engage with the jpeg anymore Jordan, 1971. Jordan, you sent me a oh, chair that looks like a person. That's not 1971. Mm-hmm. I did do that, <laughs> and that's kind of it on this one. It's just got. Yeah, I just, I, mean, I just thought it had nice hands and calves. Yeah, yeah. People are always <laughs> saying that about me, so I relate to this chair. Wow. Uh, I also relate to this chair because this looks like it'd be hard to sit on. Hey yo. <laughs> I get it. I get. I like the, the I like the pumps though. This, this weird, chair is Christ. Weird energy we brought into the chair in <laughs> the chair chat today. <laughs> this chair can't is imagine. Christ. This is to cleanse all our sins. This yeah, one. this is the last chair we're lo- we're gonna look at. Um, yeah, we do need some what some, is, some cleansing. What's everyone? Has everyone gotten a new chair since they've started working from home? Uh, yes. Oh yeah. I'm gonna turn on my camera for just a second. Okay, hold on. Uh, and then I won't be on it because do... it's a some production work. It's a so bad Eric, was your chair that. was your chair Eric uh, pre work from home uh, addition to the family? No, that was part of the uh, pandemic. Looking for anything to do, right? Wow. Okay, oh. hold on, Ryan. Let me. Um... Nice. Uh, Give it a little spin. You got to got to spin it. Wait, no, 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 no! Like Don't Dana spin White. it yet. Window capture. Okay. Discord. We used to the glide efficiency of this chair. Chorus. There we go. Ram, what kind of guitar is that? Oh, uh, so this is actually my guitar. This what? is my tiny shitty guitar. Yeah, this is my tiny shitty guitar. Uh, it sounds like dog shit, and I love it. I Ooh. think they call that a violin. Play- Stupid. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Play us Here, something. Uh, it it's not like- in tune. Uh, it actually... So here's the issue. It's mostly in tune, but it has one string that just sounds... That's really wrong. Tiny. Oh, you've yeah. got fret. You've got fret buzz. That means your neck alignment's off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, oh, Jordo. Look at the uh, the fucking dist. Oh my god, sorry, guitar. Uh, the distance between the actual string. Oh, that's and... wrong. Yeah, it's that's not right. Massive. It's awful. Oh, this that's not bad. good. That's wrong. This is this is also again. I'm just the camera. It looks like it's set up perfect. to be played like lap steel style. So you also notice how tiny this is. Mm-hmm. Is it a three-four scale? I think so because here's the, this is me holding this guitar. Okay. Okay. For comparison, my actual guitar. Mm-hmm. If you play a guitar in a chair, does that make it a sitar? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. No, it does. It does. It does. It does, Stephen. It does. Okay. <laughs> It does, Stephen. No, yeah, Stephen. It does. This is an educational program, yeah. and to educate, you first need to ask a question. Yes, right. You have to ask questions before you can learn. 
I like how you still have the turtle turtle toilet picture of the <laughs> Um Ren wow. appears to well, have fallen Ren, off the internet. Ren has fallen off of the internet, but we did get to see her good good chair. Um Thank you, I, Ren, for sharing. Thank you, Ren, for sharing. I also got a chair. <laughs> Um, let me kind of hide this window and then make this bigger. Um, I got a chair, uh, from, uh, a person I found on Craigslist.com. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm back. What's up? You're back. I, f I got a chair from Craigslist.com and it's a Herman Miller sale. Um, oh, wow. sale, sale, um, so it, it it is not from the sidewalk, crucially. So everyone who in the, in the chat and who is in my DMs on Twitter yelling at me about how I brought bed bugs into my house and it was inadvisable to get a chair from the sidewalk and it looked dirty. Um, you shut the fuck up because I got rid of it and returned it to the sidewalk from whence it came. And instead, I paid two hundred and fifty American dollars for this five hundred dollar chair. Aha. Uh -huh. um, and it fucking whips. My back hasn't hurt in many days. My back hasn't hurt since I got the chair. <clears throat> and now I this think... was a this was a recommendation of one Merritt K. Yeah, of this, is, this is the same chair that Merritt has. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and That's it's a great. Space Wait, space the exact same chair? chair? Yeah, it's the exact same chair that Merritt has. Yeah, Merritt mailed her chair to, to me. me, and we share it. <laughs> Anytime one of them needs to sit, yeah, I have to say Nikki it gets weekends. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's great because it's there's like no fabric back here. It's made out of some sort of weird plastic rubber material. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very comforting. And then the cushion is is the car is the correct thickness for my butt, and I can I can lean like this. Hold on. There's so many I knobs on this thing. <laughs> I apologize too because I, I missed some of the early talk about the, the this because I came in a little bit late. But Eric, what is your chair actually made? Like, could you describe the like texture of your good chair? Uh, of the like my office chair or the the shitty one that I built? Uh, the shitty one that you built. I was trying to be like nice because you <laughs> built it. <laughs> Stephen, are you uh, familiar with wood? <laughs> I mean, like, what kinds of like like. But different woods have different textures. Pine, it's, okay. It's pine, and it was rough, so I had to sand the hell out of it. So right. I sanded okay. it as as best I could. I don't have like a sander. I had to just do it by hand. Okay, oh, so that no. makes a big difference. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you? Did you? Yeah, did you I know. Have a sanding block? Uh, nope. Oh man. It was real, real bad. See, everybody uh, in here giving me shit for not knowing what pine feels like, but there was meat on them bones. <laughs> 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 Ren, we so, can yeah. do your noodling. In the end, I did my best, uh, but uh, in the end, there's still like some 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 bumps. So, um, right, so you're saying that you, uh, in the end, it doesn't even matter, uh, yeah, because yeah, exactly. you came so far to lose uh, it all. Yep. Right. And, Always. And kind of. And and kind okay. <laughs> 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 um yeah um does anyone else have any cool chair takes uh don't buy a gamer chair well, yeah hey, well, no well, well no I, I, we can't I, I, nope I bought... nope jordan we can't i'll tell you why Look. but we legally can't say that anymore okay well can i'm I sitting you, in a gamer chair at this moment jordan so you gotta convince me you got some like okay well, to maybe... travel can Maybe I give you I... my thing about gamer chairs? Yeah, I want to yeah. hear Eric's in support thing of you. Gamer chairs. gamer chairs are the fucking Crocs of the chair world. Wow. <laughs> they are so ugly and so unbelievably poorly designed. Like it's the worst thing to put your ass on. Mm. Now so what I... if No, keep continue. I I would agree with this. Uh I bought I purchased a gamer chair for around the same price that Nikki paid for uh, his my Herman good Miller chair. My good chair? His good chair. Um, and I had to start using... I bought it because I wanted something that had better back support. And all of these gamer chairs have extremely straight backs. Um, and... Uh, anyway, long story short, after sitting in it for like 
four months, uh, I started having nerve issues in my feet. Mm. Um, Yikes! From like compression, from like nerve compression because yeah. the seat was so hard. Uh, and so I got a cushion for it, and uh, since then the feeling has come back in one of my heels. So that's nice. That's good. Yikes! Now you uh, should get a new chair. Yeah. So when it, when I uh, I'm gonna be moving before the end of the year probably, and whenever that happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this this gamer esports gamer chair into the river. Uh, yeah, it weighs sixty five pounds. What? <laughs> it's so heavy. Why? <laughs> Why does it need to weigh they... that much? The chair I'm sitting in maybe weighs like fifteen or twenty pounds. Oh no, I've lost. I've lost. Hello, hello, Jordan. Hello, hello, hello. hello? Are we hello? back, hello. gamers? Gamers. Nikki? Hello. Can I can't believe my bad internet poisoned everyone. Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> I think the call just kind of dropped there for a second. I didn't have any issues. Oh. Me neither. Yeah, well, neither did I. I guess I dropped then. Weird. Uh, but yeah, don't don't. Uh, at least the kind that I got. Uh. G GT Omega Racing Chair dot esports. Don't buy that one. Don't buy that one. Uh, if you like having feet, do not buy that chair. I love now having that, my feet. That's your first mistake because I just generally don't trust any website that does have a top level domain in dot esports. Yeah, oh, that, that was a, that's a good rule. <laughs> that is a good rule. <laughs> Uh, for the sake of transparency, that was a fun joke that I was making. I bought the chair oh, from uh, Amazon.com before the pandemic started. Mm, I see. From Jeff's but, website. Jeff's well, cool website. But yeah, Ren, it weighs 65 pounds. Uh, it was, I had to carry it sort of a, a distance to get it into my tiny house. And uh, it's the heaviest thing I, I own. I always forget that you live in a tiny house, Jordo. I do live in a tiny house. For yeah, I, for, I always to... forget that Jordo is a borrower. Yeah, for, for people <laughs> listening, when, when we say tiny house, we don't mean like a small house, like just no, as like a regular house. adjective. Like I the, mean like, yeah. a, like an Instagram tiny house. A Sims-esque tiny house. Yeah, I'm renting it. You live it. by yourself? I do. Okay. Um, I'm renting it. It's 230 square feet. Uh, it's in the backyard of a delightful lesbian couple that are the best landlords oh, I've ever hell had. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you just described Ren's, like, entire yeah, life goal. Dream. <laughs> yeah, no, you did just, you did kind of just come for my whole shit. You did just come for my whole shit to be, oh, to, oh, to have a wife and be letting people live in the tiny house in my backyard. <laughs> yeah, Ren wants to be a only. landlord. You hear it here first, Yeah, people. Ren loves uh, No, land. the thing nope, that I you said, said, oh, no, 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 no. you would pay attention to the thing that I said was, uh, to let people live in the tiny house no, in my I, backyard. I not heard rent to the, every month. Not, I... not to rent my tiny the tiny house in my backyard to people. You fuckers, you cannot twist this. You cannot. You cannot do this to me. That's what I heard. I heard I'm going to charge rent to anyone and everything that moves. Literally, directly said, let, <laughs> let. <laughs> I mean, the landlords let in the sense that they get to determine if you don't get to live exactly. in a place. Exactly. Only, only, only allowing. It's a sublet. Yep. Let's write. I am, only, I, am <laughs> yeah. only, let. I am only allowing. Let is the present participle of. Yeah. Only permission. We're zooming in kind of way more than I expected to on your chair here, Stephen. Now, Stephen, mm. your chair does look like it has significantly more padding than mine, and you look. It looks like you have a more comfortable and better lumbar support pillow yeah i like for my a, lumbar support pillow a lot for a sec i misread main gear as man gear man, and man really, gear. i was deeply deeply <laughs> i was i was concerned with me nikki can you can you uh zoom back in on the main gear like you did a second oh, ago yeah, like this yeah no yeah 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 i'm sorry i'm on a little bit of a delay can you scroll to the left now mm, no is that possible okay okay can you zoom back out <laughs> oh, there you wait go. like this <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And now up, <laughs> like so this, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, a little bit up. Oh, like this. I see it. This on this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There, there we go. Get a good look at that zone right there. Yeah. Right? That's, enhance. Enhance. Please. That's, that's the content that that's I'm here for. That's the content. Now this. Now that's a chair. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I ride my cats like Spike the dog from Rugrats. <laughs> now, now that's Eric, have a you chair. ever ridden a dog like Spike the dog from Rugrats? 
no, my kids try it with my dog though. I've got a, I've got a chocolate lab. He's big. Oh, no. does it Can work? You... That's no. adorable. Even with a big dog, they their backs are just not made for it. Mm, not as, horse. Dog as not Ubisoft horse. Em- as an Ubisoft employee, do you think that they would let you uh, pitch them on adding mounts to hyperspace? Hyper, hyperscape, hyperscape. Hyperscape. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> I hey, I was calling fuser. That. I was calling fuser mixer yeah, until three yeah, weeks until, ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one day we'll also learn not. what the name of a video game is. Never. <laughs> um. Good yeah. They, you. you should put your dog in the game. Yeah. Can you I'm... get mounts added to hyperscape? Specifically, dog mounts. Dog ones. Yes. Specifically. I'd love it. Love it. Okay. Valorant added a dragon to their game today yeah yeah what's up with that you hold a dragon okay. in your hand and the dragon it. so they they made the dragon a gun the dragon's a gun uh and they do kind of look like bad dragons which they is look really like cool. bad dragons uh they cool is like... i guess not the word that i would use wait bad dragons as in the uh... as in the sex toy yeah the sex okay toy, yeah. yeah 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 no I that's cool friends that right <laughs> Um, Nikki, you're being outnumbered here. Being outnumbered, I guess. <laughs> well, um, I think that's just, I think that's gonna be it for this one, for this chair one. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's anyone's more... got any other takes on chairs. Uh, it's just so I, much I, more condensed than the last one. Yeah. I I posted some other good chairs in the oh, Discord. Oh, you did? Hit me. Yeah. Let me, let me see uh, these. For, further further up than my my provocative uh calf oh, chair. Oh wow! Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. So I guess we're not done then, huh? All right. Yep. Let's kind of. Uh, there's, like, there's some more stuff in there. Yeah. Let's look at this one. So just real quick. This one's got. This one's made entirely <laughs> out of tires or wheels. It's a okay. bicycle. Chair. It's a bicycle. Bicycle chair. parts. And it's got that. It's got a bicycle horn and kind of the handles are the feet. And it's then a it's real. You're gonna be real low to the ground in this. But chair. very fast. Yeah. Yes, unbelievably Very fast. The wheels are on fire. It looks incredibly like. fast. Yeah, you can just be like Axel from Twisted Metal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks like a futuristic boat that you'd like sail on the swamps of Louisiana. Mm. Oh, like a fan boat. Yeah, yeah. Like a fan boat. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, that's our that's our new boat vertical fan boat. Fan boat. <laughs> fan boat. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add to this room, uh, Fan Bites community specialist Taylor. Mm, yes, yes, um, yes. Who has sent me a JPEG <laughs> that has multiple chairs? Oh my God! Taylor, welcome that... to the program. Um, I... Let's see. Uh, that chair is cursed. You need to get a new chair. Now, what's up with this JPEG? Okay, I told you I would have to explain this. Yeah. So if you could just play the JPEG. We could get into it. Uh, the day I posted this JPEG was actually the first day in my life I had seen the several people were typing Discord notifications. Good. <laughs> um, and so this is a taxonomy of indoor folding chairs you might see in a church or community center. I'll just work my way from the bottom up here. Okay. Um, at the bottom row, we have, why even bother? Just stand or lean. These hurt your ass. They're bad. Um, they're unpleasant to sit on and often too sharp or, like, too abrasive. Yeah. Not a fan. Um, and then the middle row here is like that purgatory area of where it's fun to sit on it first, but after a while, your butt starts to hurt. Right. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a good extended sitting chair. You mean like, you mean like the chair I'm on right now? That's not true. Yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly like that, Rin. I feel like these are chairs that are specifically designed this way for like, hey, we need to have you to come do, like to this interview for this job, but we're not going to hire you, and we've decided that ahead of time. So you get this chair because we do want you to leave after like a very specific amount of time. These are all chairs that I have sat on in my life through like extracurricular meetings and or church youth group functions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So now we have the top row, the creme de la creme, the, the chair you can just sit in and then like kind of doze off on during a very long sermon and or mm-hmm. function you don't want to be at. Mm-hmm. Except is... crucially, except for the one on the right, those folding chairs, that movie theater shit, that doesn't count. That's too much. Too they can't much. be moved. They can't. They be don't moved. count. They're not movable. Exactly. I do want to kind of talk about these two chairs here, the red chairs that you've kind of yeah. placed into time for a nap. Um, yes, yes. These chairs, when you sit on them, dust comes out of them. Uh, hmm. What chairs have you been sitting on? Bud? These exact Nikki's chairs correct. in a church. I sat on these Nikki's exact chairs correct. in a church, and when you sit on them, dust come out. 
Yeah, yeah. when you sit well, that, on the chair, you kind of start to cough. That's if because had, what? If you had a church, the dust is the sin coming out. Oh. So wow. that's why. So it's, so it's not actually coming out of the chair. It's, it's coming, coming out, out of me. It's kind coming of, out of me. Sin right. is yeah. stored in the butt. Uh, that's right. True. Sin, sin is stored so, in the so butt. So the sin, the sin dander is kind of expelled <laughs> from the Nicholas when he says. Mm. I do feel like I, like... Tur Divinity sitting in this original chair. sin dander. That's good. Yes. You got there. <laughs> this uh, Sitting in this chair would just instantly turn me into a 75-year-old grandfather. Yeah. It would take you immediately. Right. I it's a time machine of sorts. This is like these chair. This is like the chair from Primer. You haven't... Now, I will say, did you create this image? Uh, yes, I did create this composite image. Okay. Now, I do have one bit of criticism. Now, you have failed to put the... Uh, cushioned pew on here. The cushioned pew, That's not yeah. a chair, that's a fucking pew. That's a that cushioned question. pew, yeah. It's a I mean, bench. pews can be picked it's up and moved, though. Yeah, pews it's you can bench. move. It's a bench, it's a bench, it's a bench. A now, bench? now uh, our yeah. bench is not um, chairs, but long? Um, the Benches bench. are not chairs. They're classified differently from chairs. I'm always saying this. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's true. wait, I have a question. <laughs> I just want to make a, I just want to make a, I just want to make a note. Uh, sitting in those chairs does turn y'all into old men. If a woman sits in one of those chairs, she immediately becomes a butch lesbian at a VFW. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I could, I could, yeah, my sister did that. I wait, confirm. I do have, I do, wait, where, okay, what is the point at which a chair becomes a bench? When it sits when more than people. When it's too wide. What if yeah, they're two or, very small people? You could fit what if two they're very two small, very people, small people, yeah. It's still a chair. I'm saying, it's like, still a chair. if you have a chair is one person, a love seat is two people, a couch is three plus, and then... If it's not meant oh, wait, to be are comfortable, in this that's a, okay. Like, exactly, what that's what I was well, saying. Well, no, no, no. It's 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 like it's a split evolutionary tree, right? It's like so, it's everything that only sits one thing is a chair, and then it's split. It's either two chairs next to each other or a love seat. Okay. That's where it okay. splits. Let me open and then up, if you like, go up, publisher <laughs> program, make a fucking diagram. Our <laughs> now our stools <laughs> chairs. I think a stool is a chair. A ba a it's a backless a chair. chair. Now hold yeah. on, it's a I shitty think chair, but it's a stools. chair. <laughs> I would, I would Sagan also, I Steven? would agree with Stephen that stools are stools, and they're they're kind of in their own category. Oh, it's its own thing. I think this all yeah. depends on the padding for the butt. Okay. Wait, now, hey, now what if you had chair. a really, what if you had a really wide stool? <laughs> then like you need a bidet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just described a trough. Is a really wide stool. Yeah. Exactly. Well, okay, wait, but what if you had a really big rock? Right? Okay. Now, That's... if you were presented with the rock, what would you say that you're sitting on? I'm sitting I would on a rock. First know I guess what rock. the rock is cooking, Nikki. Right. Next question. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess that's kind of all I had. Now I feel good about ending this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oichi in chat says more than four legs is an insect. That is That's correct. a very good point. That is correct. Mm. Um, someone, Neurodiverger, says, Hello, I've been looking for a new chair, but I feel like all of the ones that we've kind of shown here will get them expelled. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, we don't have any help for that. Um, get Go to wirecutter.com and type in chair, and they'll kind of lead you on your way. I'm, um, I'm sorry, expelled like from what? The, the um, world. If you're looking for the a world. budget chair, this is a legit tip. If you're looking for a budget chair, um, just search the keywords "task chair." Task chair. Task chair. Ooh. That is my current chair. Is a task chair. Task chair. Task yeah, this chair. is apparently a thing that people call chairs. Now, what if, what if I am performing See, a task a in category. this chair? But I'm also going to be sitting. Holy lord, that is expensive. Some of these Jesus. are well, bad. To mine look is at. the fifty dollar task chair. Mm. Okay. For context. Oh, like yeah, this I'd... one. Chairs oh, are so yeah, expensive, y'all. Yeah, that kind of deal. That yeah. almost exactly that. I... Except I got it from Fry's Electronics. The ju the ju <laughs> the justification that I have for spending as many dollars as I did is that first of all, I didn't spend the money. Ten cent spent it. Second of all, is that um, I'm gonna be sitting in it for so long. It's like it's a, it's mattress disease, right? Like right. you, I, I'm if, sorry, it's, it's like a I mattress. Mean, like the the optics of spending six hundred dollars on a mattress feels bad in the moment, but if you think about how much time you spend on the mattress relative to how long you own it, the the amount of money that it costs makes sense. Yeah. 
Mm. So it's you like a should... subscription service for your for sleep, task. right? And now you so the wouldn't... long term value proposition is what you're getting at, right? Here. Like you don't want to spend basically no money on your mattress because you'll be complaining about it really quickly, and then you'll have to get another mattress. Oh, am I back? Three years. Hello, hello, yeah, hello. Right. You're Red, back. Hello, Hi. hello. Red, have you Hi. considered moving to a state with internet? With good internet. Uh, with, so no, yeah, with internet. Think, we, think it's, we think it's just our routers being fucked up. Uh, I, I went upstairs and I was like, hey, Jeff, what's going on? And he was like, well, I was going to I was gonna reboot the router, but I was putting off it until tomorrow. And I was like, doesn't that take two minutes? And he was like, yes, it does. And then I went, please do it. And he went, okay. Jeff Bezos? Routers do be like I was going to say. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, who lives in my house and uh, uh, <laughs> made me leave because I had Steam installed. Um... <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Jeff was Thanks, like, Jeff. hey, go play. What the fuck was that game called? I've Crucible. already forgotten the name. It's Crucible. Crucible. Sorry. That was a joke. That was a joke. Actually, my stepdad's fine. Um, <laughs> Shouts out to Jeff. Like Shouts to Jeff. But yeah. Don't actually. <clears throat> wow. Well. John, whatever a dying chair is, I do not want it. Oh, uh, I did post his current state of the seat cushion further up a disc in twitch chat i will just copy paste that link here okay thank you it looks very bad <laughs> all uh, right that chair needs to be retired okay now Let eric turns and send a yeah. video called top five plastic chairs enthusiasts would die to own would die to own i'm pretty sure i've had a few of those in my backyard that got crushed are, yeah all those plastic chairs are class traders they bend underneath any weight i, I hate those no things. this is great because it's an unlisted video that has twenty thousand views i also i what i love about this is if you get to the one minute 30 second mark mm -hmm. there's a surprise oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> what kind of surprise? I'm so very bright. Like Fun surprise, don't worry about it. 20, 30 years. Been Steven, that is... This person's <laughs> owned them for... Tw what? Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Just right? Oh, I see. What? I see. Uh, this is oh, all this is the cult the jars. Oh, What's all the jars? <laughs> <laughs> the jars are what's left of the people who sat in those chairs. Oh, oh, wow, God. that's scary. But so, Eric, this, I just want to you, point uh, out this is this the name of this channel is Brian Roper's Plastic Chair World. Right. <laughs> the only the only Train video ship. he has about okay. plastic chairs. That's chair. incredible. <laughs> this is like a false flag for something. They meet and yeah. they discuss like overthrowing the government or something. Like that's that. dude, incredible. Like, dude just genuinely loves Train 7720, he just said. But not enough was was first one by uh, Justin so McElroy sent me this link. <laughs> This is now this channel is incredible it. because so it good. has this channel is incredible. Every so video good. basically averages less than a thousand views, except he has one video that is two point six million Wait, six views. Million. Oh my god! Um, I and oh, okay, oh, it's Let's an see. injury video. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and then uh, top fifty <laughs> plastic chairs is thirty five k. That's incredible. Now, whose chair is this? Sean's chair. It's Sean's, yeah. Yeah, that's Sean's chair. Okay, so that's we'll Sean's kind of currently. we'll kind of wrap with this. So he give wants me... a eulogy. Hello. Yeah, I, I'll Hello. give it. Oh, yeah, Hello. we'll give it a eulogy. Hi. Uh, Ren, uh, good can't... food, good meat, good God. Let's see. Done. What if God was one of us? Right. What if God was mm. this chair? It's like a stranger on the bus. Yeah. yeah. Just a trying stranger. to find their way home. Yeah, this chair needs to find its way home to like. A sidewalk or a dumpster. Could yes. God, uh, God dumpster. <laughs> could God make a chair so uncomfortable he couldn't sit in it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it, 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 it's all a metaphor. The Garden of Eden was actually a chair. The God oh. couldn't go there, so he sent a snake and apple. Uh, some, I don't know the fucking story. No, that's it. Didn't C.S. Lewis all, all, already cover this in the silver chair though? Like, was it that the whole purpose of mm. that chair? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what um, if chair is a lonely god made you. of hands? What if chair is a handful of flour wet on the tongue? What if we need chair is a mouth? <laughs> this chair is a metaphor for Artemis Fowl. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this chair is Artemis Fowl. Hey, yo. Well, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Pivot to Chair. We will be back on you July. You have to sit with a towel on it? Hang on. You have to sit with a towel on it? You this have is to hell. Sit this is hell. With Sean, the Sean, towel. I'm closing the tab so we don't have to look at your bad chair anymore. Um, <laughs> we will be back on uh, July 22nd with a special 
guest uh, from a professional chair making company. Um, Y'all aren't ready for it. Yeah. It's gonna blow oh your mind. God. It's gonna blow your mind. When are we getting Brie Larson? Is this gonna have? We're getting Brie Larson. Brie Larson's not gonna. Oh wait. Oh, I'm gonna ask this to everyone. Hey Eric, do you know anybody <laughs> who knows Brie Larson? Mm, no. Sorry. No. Okay. Well, if you come up with anybody who knows Brie Larson, we're trying to get Brie Larson on the show for PAX. She seems I mean, great. She seems she, great and like she would be really game for this show. So now, now here's a here's an idea. Eric, could yeah. you convince Ubisoft to put Brie Larson as a character in Hyperscape for That's uh, a great idea too. Okay. And, and, and then, then we can get back to the then game. Connect the dots. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. That's all That's we my need. commitment to you is if we get her in the game, I will Get her on Pivot to Chair. Thank you Hell so yeah. much, Eric. Wow. Six degrees of Brie. Six degrees of Brie. I um, mean, I can breeze, perhaps? Is that a Well, podcast? goodbye. No, that's that's pretty good. You're gone. Well, wait, I, I think I'm at least two degrees. I think I can get there in like two I, or three degrees, personally. Word? Yeah. Listen, so, we got to make this happen. So I know. Oh Jordan, God. I just saw you tweeted. So what? This is where. What? What? A rip? You I just pulled my mic arm off my desk. Oh no. Oh, Ryan's made no. a terrible mistake. <laughs> so now it's just, and I'm holding the whole arm in my hands like it's a big mic. Oh no. Ren's made a horrible oh, mistake. Bud. Well, um, Jordan, you got to figure out how to get Brie on this program. All right. Um, I'll put some calls in. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Thank you for that's coming your OKR on. For this one. Uh, that's your OKR, stupid. <laughs> Um, Eric, thank you so much for coming on. Do you want to plug anything? Do you want to plug your Twitter, your video game, anything? God, no, just Brian Roper's plastic chair world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs that ad revenue. If there's one takeaway from this. Just go sub there. Just go send your sub dollars, not to Ninja, but to Brian Roper's plastic chair world. Yeah, don't give Ninja any fucking money. Don't yeah, have out there announced what, where he's going. No, yet. it's, he a, got, it's all a going game. to hell. It's all not a to game. a shower. He said, I one, he said one hour. <laughs> and then went to YouTube.com. Um, everyone else, thank you so much for appearing on this episode of Pivot to Chair. Uh, if you liked this, you, we have many other podcasts at fanbyte.com slash podcasts. Uh, youtube.com slash fanbite is where you can go if you want to see the video version of this twitch.tv slash fanbite thank you so much everyone for hanging out we will be back with another video game stream tomorrow thursday july 9th catch y'all oh, and audio oh. listeners oh um, uh, yeah you can join the discord at fanbite.casa yes where i do nonsense frequently yes it's good nonsense it's really really strong nonsense strong nonsense uh, tomorrow we're going to be hitting the hard-hitting investigative journalism by going into the fraternal order of police's national and statewide priorities so you can kind of relay that to your representative and then the day after that it is full chaos mode game night it's we've got good stuff brewing uh thank you so much for hanging out and listening and we will see you next time bye Bye.